So, there's a couple home tech products that I really like in my life, yeah. in my home. And there's not a whole lot that I talk about. Uh, the Nest cameras are great. Mm -hmm. My Nest thermostat is one of my favorite things. Yes. The June oven, major props. I've had that thing for years. It, okay. it's, it's killer. And my Dyson vacuum barely counts as a tech product, but it counts. Has an on button. Has an on button. Counts. Has a really impressive motor in it because Dyson makes amazing motors. Mm -hmm. And Dyson knows that they make a great vacuum and then they got their head really big and they started making other things with motors in them yeah. that aren't as good as a vacuum. So uh, I guess the latest generation, the latest development here. Now, here's the little triple asterisk disclaimer. This episode comes out on April Fool's Day, <laughs> but we're recording this before April Fool's Day. Yes. And as of right now, we have no reason to believe that this is an April Fool's Day project, I, but it totally should be. I don't think it is, but yes, you're right. Totally this should, should be. be. I think <laughs> I've already seen a video of it in Sam Sheffer's hands, so this is not yeah. fake. Yeah, it's, it exists somewhere. So this is called the Dyson uh, Air Purifier. What is it actually called? Personal it's called the, Air Purifier or Air Purifying name. Headphones? The Dyson Zone Air Purifying oh, Headphones. Geez. And the reason it's called the zone is because you put it on and it's got these tiny Dyson motors in it, which they're really good at. Mm -hmm. And those motors are spinning fans that will help air around you pass over your nose and mouth quickly yeah. to keep it purified and pass it through a filter and all sorts of things like that. So, so you will you will have your own little bubble of pure air. Yeah, it, essentially what it is is it's a pair of noise canceling headphones that they say also cancels out like pollution and sure. propellants around you i guess and and it's just a pair of gigantic headphones i mean like twice as deep because if you pop off the outside of each ear cup there's a the small filter inside it then the dyson motor and then essentially what you do is you grab this piece that kind of looks like another band on top of the headphones magnetically connected to the ear cups and then mm -hmm. it goes over your mouth and so it's going to pull the air in through your ears or your ear cups go through the filter push it through the the, jaw the mask the like whatever you want the bane mask the yeah whatever you want to call it and then blow air into your face that's purified essentially creating this kind of um air air bubble, I guess, pressurized air, purified yeah. pressurized air around your face. And um, Wait, it's it, interesting. Is there a price for this? Is, I don't That's That's going to be know. my hint is if this actually gets a price tag, then it might not be an April Fool's Day I, thing. This but is, I, um, I do think this is real. There's a really good Twitter thread by Naomi Wu who talks a lot about it and it was hilarious and really eye-opening as well. Um, we'll link it in the show notes. You should definitely look at it because there's a lot of really good information, but... This got patented actually around 2016 or their first design patents for it were around 2016. So pretty sure it's real or else the oh, most yeah. intense April Fool's joke. But the, the thing about it is, which is really funny and really interesting, um, you can tell this was created pre-COVID where they're focusing way more on pollution and air quality to, to help that because... This mask that goes in front of you isn't creating a seal. It's not, it's got space around it. And it's just hoping that the air pushing out is is what you're breathing in and then deflecting any other air from coming in, I guess. Yeah. Now, the issue with that is pre-COVID, we weren't so worried about airborne pathogens, which now this machine and what Naomi calls is the snot cannon is essentially just blowing air into your face and now blowing all the air you breathe out, whatever you exhale, gets blown it, everywhere, even further than you were already. Nice doing it. So you have your own personal super spreader. It, she literally <laughs> calls it the mobile super spreader event. <laughs> like it is. Come on, Dyson. it is insane. So wow. and it makes so much sense because do you know those Dyson? Or doesn't make sense, but I'm not surprised by this. Do you know those Dyson hand dryers in the bathroom? Yeah. So like, if somehow you're not familiar with this, hand, air dryers in the bathroom, so you don't use paper towels reducing waste, Dyson started making one which was essentially a U-shaped where you stick your hands in the top of the U and on both sides it has an airstream that pushes out really hard. So when you've got water, you can push your hands down and basically feel the water push straight off your hands. Mm -hmm. Problem is a U 
isn't it's a cup. open. At, it's a cup. Yeah. So now all of this nasty bathroom water that you have here in your hands is getting blown into this stagnant pool at the bottom. And now every time the next person puts their hands in, the air is just shooting down and now spraying this. They're disgusting. That's pretty gross. Dyson is really good at making bad products outside of their vacuums. Dyson, it's, look, Dyson to me, though every time I see a new Dyson product, I always think the same thing, which is Dyson is a bunch of people in a room where they're like, guys, we make the best motors anywhere. We just need to find things that need motors and put our motors in the thing. So what needs a motor? Okay, a hair dryer, because it's got to blow a fan. We make the best hair dryer in the world. It's several hundred dollars. We make a we I make have, a bladeless fan because we have this cool design and these super high RPM motors. And then didn't we see rumors of like, well, electric cars need motors, don't they? Oh, I haven't seen that rumor. There was a rumor that Dyson might make a car for some but, reason, but because they make these great motors <laughs> and now they made this, they've made this thing the where they're like, well, car. what if we push air through a filter with our amazing motor technology? Dyson, PSA, you make good motors, Probably just chill on the things. Leave them, them in vacuums. Yeah, like the vacuums are great. Even, like keep doing that. Even the fan and the hair dryer, that's just a fan inside the base of it. Yeah. Pushing air into tunnels that look like where a fan should be, but now but it's, it's bladeless. It's really smart because those are really powerful motors and those, it they is, spin it those is fans powerful. real fast. And they they make a, very, a really cool impression because it seems to be pushing air out with no blades and people love that. So they've got some clever Magic. ideas. This... I am I am going to put my foot in the April Fool's Day camp on this one. Really? There is no price. I looked it up. I'm clicking through. I'm looking at all the info on the page, and they just have a sign-up page that just says, find out when the latest Dyson technology becomes available to purchase. And you put in your email, your first and last name, and a zip code, and submit. And I better not get an email about how, like, this is available to purchase. I better get an email on April Fool's Day saying, gotcha, this is a joke. But also, oh. like, remember, Dyson, we make cool motors and stuff. But that's also sort of thrown off by the fact that this idea was patented, like, five years ago. Yeah, and there's, like, a lot of promotional material. They have, like, I mean, I know people have gone intense for April Fool's Day, but, like, they have, like, a guy standing in a train with this on. Like, they have promotional material for this. It looks insane. Even if you were just wearing these headphones, they're, like, three times the thickness of the ear cups of a regular headphones. Imagine our... Audio Technica is coming out like four more inches. Yeah, huge. It's crazy. And then I wonder how it sounds to stand next gonna, to somebody wearing this. Wh- how do you think it sounds in the ear cup to also have a motor running a, a fan right behind the driver of the music? Probably sounds like too. you have a tiny vacuum cleaner on on your head. I guess. And the best part is, it's is it noise canceling because it's actively noise canceling the outsider because the motor's so loud you can't <laughs> hear the outside. We had to noises. cancel the whine of the motors. Um, this is either a slightly harmful April Fool's Day project or a potentially very harmful real product. <laughs> and I'm rooting for the first one. But I mean, in that case, yes, I'm rooting for the first one. Wow. Um, the, the, the snot cannon. Yeah. I appreciate that a lot. All right. Thanks for watching this clip. Uh, I think while we're here, we should just end by pitching new product ideas for Dyson to put motors in. Motors and filters. The fil- I guess it doesn't need a filter, but they seem yeah. to do those pretty They well do a great vacuum. I was actually personally hoping they would do a camera because cameras that are high-end need fans, and so they should build an entire camera because they make them cool. Cooled really fan? I mean, the, like, the R6 could use that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the Dyson R7. That. I um I would definitely an air purified shoe because my feet smell terrible. Ooh. If I'm being honest. Oh, and it creates like a little pressurized cocoon of air around yeah, your foot. Yeah, yeah, and, and filters out all the odor. But also, then you this step in mud and it just degrading. blows mud on people it everywhere. Just blows mud. <laughs> That's perfect. That sounds sick too. If I'm being honest, I'm waiting for the Dyson shoes. Yeah, Dyson give shoes. us some good uh, Dyson inventions in the comments. After you, you can only comment if you hit the subscribe button though and the like button.